Bangladesh is voting in its 12th parliamentary elections and the ballots will remain open till 4 p.m. local time. Counting will start soon after the end of the voting, with initial results expected by early Monday. And Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina voted shortly after the ballots opened at Dhaka City College polling centre. And her daughter, Saima Vazed, also accompanied her. And well-known Bangladeshi actor Fardos Ahmed is contesting the polls on a Bami League ticket from the seat. Hasina is set to get a fourth straight term in office as the main opposition party, Bangladesh Nationalist Party, is boycotting the polls. Now, in the run-up to the polls, the Sheikh Hasina government has come under criticism for not stepping down to let a neutral caretaker government oversee the polls. And Hasina and her Awami League party maintains that free and fair polls can be conducted in the country under existing government and that there is no need for caretaker government. Now, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party has given a call for a non-cooperation urging people to boycott the elections. I just want to ask you, credibility, I have to prove credibility, right? To whom? To whom? A terrorist party? A terrorist organization? No. I have my accountability to people, to the people. Whether people accepted it or not, whether they have accepted this election or not, that is important. That is important to me. So, I don't care. Now, in her long years in power, especially after 2008, Hasina has presided over exceptional economic growth in a country once beset by abject poverty. However, her government has been accused of rampant human rights abuses and a crackdown on the opposition. A violence erupted on the eve of election with a passenger train set on fire killing uh, at least four people and at least 14 polling centers and two schools in 10 districts were set on fire between Friday evening and early Saturday. Now, troops have fanned out across Bangladesh to maintain peace while nearly 800,000 po police, paramilitary and police auxiliaries will be guarding polling booths through the day. Around 25,000 opposition cadres, including BNP's entire local leadership, were arrested in the ensuing crackdown. Now, the government puts this figure at 11,000. About 120 million voters are choosing from nearly 2,000 candidates for the 300 directly elected parliamentary seats. And there are over 400 independent candidates in this race. Economic headwinds have left many dissatisfied with Hasina's government. And after a sharp spike in food costs and months of chronic blackouts in 2022, wage stagnation in the garment sector, which accounts for around 85% of the country's annual exports, sparked industrial unrest late last year that saw some factories torched and hundreds more shuttered. 